Welcome back, you guys. We got a spooky treat for y'all. But I'm going to make a quick um, Halloween treat. It's going to be vegan cheesecake. And it is considered a cheesecake, so y'all better not come for me. So, <laughs> um, you can either buy the store-brought um, crust or you can make it yourself. I just have my spring form pan here. Um, and all it really is is just Oreos, and these are uh, vegan, and butter. And then again, I'll leave all the description. The information in the description box of how many cookies I use I'm gonna go ahead and use my food processor um, I thought about it after I pulled the processor out like I could have just used a bag with a like a food hammer I forgot what those things are called but um, yeah I already pulled this out so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that now um, and I'll be back I don't want to make too much noise for you guys so. okay so I put my Oreos in the food processor and I've seen a lot of people who actually um, I'm adding butter, by the way, who actually take the cream out of the cookies, but I'm not doing that. Uh, now plus, well, I'm, I don't know what I would do with the with the leftover, you know, like with the cream. So that was just some um, vegan butter. I'm just going to go ahead and mix this up. And then I have a nine inch spring form pan that I'm going to put this in. And then, like I said, you guys can just buy the store bought. I just want it to be extra. But um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do that and then we'll get started with the filling. Okay, so here is the um, Oreo crust, and I just went on ahead and used the bottom of my uh, measuring cup just to pat it down inside. Um, put that aside for now, and then here's my cream cheese. I used two packs of cream cheese. When you're using the store-bought Oreo crust or any crust that you're using, you only need one pack of cream cheese. Uh, but in this case, because it's a little bigger, I'm going to use two. Okay, so let's say here's my two packs of cream cheese. Next, I'm just going to use a um, cup of pumpkin puree. Make sure it says puree and not filling. Uh, pumpkin, the filling is for pumpkin pies, of course. But um, So yeah, I'm going to use a cup of that and mix that in. And I probably should have wore a short sleeve. Sleeves getting into everything. Okay, so after do that, I'm going to go ahead and add a cup of, um, I'm showing you guys like it has a label on it, a cup of powdered sugar. Okay, so I ended up using um, my hand mixer. But all that was in here, same thing from earlier, just the um, cream cheese, the pumpkin puree. I ended up using the whole can of pumpkin puree and then the um, powdered sugar. Like I said, I'll keep all the measurements down in the description. I'm just going to go ahead and use a little bit of vanilla, just like a splash. Okay, after the vanilla, I'm going to go ahead and use my allspice. Okay, after I use the allspice, I'm going to go ahead and use the ground ginger. And then I'll put, like I said, the measurements in there, but it's all to taste, really. Um, cinnamon. Okay. Um, nutmeg. And then lastly, I'm going to go ahead and just add a little bit of pumpkin pie spice. Not too much. Um, and then after I whip that up, we just have one more thing to add. And then that's it. Okay, so on to our last step. We're going to go ahead and add um, some plant-based whipped topping. Um, I was going to use coconut um, milk, but I forgot to put it in the fridge so it can solidify. So... I'm just going to go ahead and use this um, whipped whipped cream or whipped topping. And I'm just going to use a half a container. You get this at Whole Foods. Um, and then I'm going to fold that in. Ooh, it looks all fluffy and nice. And then once I fold that in, I'm going to go ahead and put that into the spring form pan. And I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, but this is going to be a no-bake, um, I was going to say pie. What is this? A cheesecake. A no bake vegan cheesecake. Um, so I'm just gonna put that in the fridge, maybe freezer. I don't know. Um, I'll let you guys know that later on. But it'll be usually they you put it in overnight. But I don't think I can wait that long. So just a few hours. Okay. So here's the finished product. Um, like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and put that in the freezer for a few hours, and then I'll be back to show you guys the final product. Okay, so here we are a few hours later. Um, I have put it in the freezer for about three hours. 
Um, and so I just put saran wrap around it. I'm just going to go ahead and take it off the pan. But this is what it looks like. And I found this in a freezer, so I think I'm going to use this for the topping instead of what I showed you guys earlier. It's uh, dairy free. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and leave your comments below. And we hope you have a spooky and safe Happy Halloween.